بس نروح لمن؟ نروح للجزء الثالث او الشابتر 3 من هذا النموذج. Geology. Rocks and how they are formed. ينطي نيكست. والله خلينا نشوف هنا ايش قد؟ اه قليلات. Why is geology important? Planet Earth tectonic plates يعني الطبقات التكتونية to reach the center of the earth rock cycle وبعدين الاختبار تمام Geology derived from the Greek words for earth and study is the science of the solid earth and the processes by which it has been shaped and developed throughout billions of years وبعدين شنو final exam petroleum geologists study various geological elements and tell us whether there is a likelihood of hydrocarbons being present and a volume فالموضوع يحتاج لوقت. Can cost millions of dollars, so the geologist needs to be sure of the facts before exploratory drilling is conducted. No doubt of hydrocarbon being present, لأنه ال ال أنت الطبقات شو أنت عرفها؟ ما أي واحد يعرفها. لازم تخصص. فضروري موجود الجيولوجي وياك وأثناء الحفر إحنا دائما الجيولوجي ويانا. The planet Earth is made up of four main layers: the crust, the mantle, the outer core. And the inner core. The pressure and temperature alters massively for each layer. The crust is formed out of rock materials and is the thinnest of the four layers. The crust makes up approximately one percent of the Earth. The mantle is the thickest layer. Approximately eighty percent of the Earth lies in the mantle. The temperature of this layer is estimated to be about one thousand degrees Celsius. The outer core. Measures 2,200 kilometers in thickness and can be regarded as a ball of very hot metals. As the Earth rotates, the outer core, consisting of iron, spins over the inner core and generates the Earth's magnetic field. This factor is responsible for the functioning of magnetic compasses. The inner core has an extremely high temperature and pressure condition. The temperature of the inner core layer is greater than the temperature of the Sun's surface. The thickness of this layer is believed to be approximately 1,250 kilometers. In order to better understand how the Earth has been shaped over the ages, we must also consider the Earth's crust. The Earth's crust is made up of a series of rigid plates. The plates form the Earth's surface and float on the mantle, and are known as tectonic plates. Movement between these plates, both towards or away from each other, has caused and continues to cause the major geological features on the Earth's surface, such as mountains, valleys, and oceans. Tectonic plate movement is most likely caused by convection currents from the molten rock below. The molten rocks are like water boiling in a pan, constantly moving and bubbling, with the hottest liquids rising to the top and the coolest moving to the bottom. Friction between the tectonic plates stops them constantly moving. However, over time, pressure volcano or an earthquake. The Earth is around 6.4 million meters in radius, or 21 million feet. The deepest wells currently drilled are over 11,600 meters, straight towards the Earth's center. It would take approximately 550 of these deep wells drilled consecutively to reach the Earth's center. of these deep wells drilled consequently to reach the Earth's center. To better understand rocks, we need to look at the rock cycle. The rock cycle is a series of constant processes through which Earth's materials change form over time. This animation will take you through the rock cycle. As you move mm -hmm. through this animation, click on each of the boxes to learn more about the processes in different yeah, types of rock. Understanding uplift, 
is in many ways the key to understanding the rock cycle itself. Uplift is the process that lifts up rocks buried deep beneath the surface to form hills and mountains on the Earth's surface. Without uplift, the Earth's surface would be flat. Mount Everest is made of limestone that must have originally formed on an ancient seafloor. We know this because it contains fossils of marine creatures. Scientists believe that if all the rock cycle processes ceased, then our planet would no longer be able to support life. شوف هنا انا حتى يعني تتقدم بال بالفيديو هسا هنا ضغطناها هنا انا weathering of rocks at surface Weathering is the breakdown of rocks on the Earth's surface by rainwater, extreme temperatures, and biological activity. There are three types of weathering physical, biological, and chemical. طبعا اذا تريد انت هنا تضغط وتريد يعني تتعلم معلومات اضافية لا بأس تضغطها وبعدين هو يعلمك. هسه خلنا نضغط هذه. Physical weathering is the effect of changing temperature on rocks, sometimes assisted by water. It can occur through repeated هسه احنا هنا ما نريد نكمل هذا هاي تغلقها erosion and transport يعني التاكل والنقل erosion and transport is the process by which soil and rock particles are worn away and moved either by gravity wind water or ice شوف هنا انا تقدر الجرافيتي يحكي لك عليها erosion through gravity الايس يحكي لك عليها ice وهكذا Deposition of sediment. Tersip. By gravity. Deposition is the laying down of sediment, which has been eroded and transported by gravity, wind, water, or ice. Sediment can be transported as pebbles sand and mud, or as salts dissolved in water. Some sediments are produced by living organisms, and these are perhaps the most interesting to the petroleum industry. Oil and gas are derived almost entirely from decayed plants and bacteria deposited on the seafloor between 130 and 300 million years ago. Burial and compaction is the process whereby sediments get buried and compressed together. Most sediments eventually get transported and deposited in the sea, near river mouths or further offshore. New layers of sediments get deposited on top of old layers and the process of burial and compaction begins. Compaction occurs when sediments become deeply buried, placing them under great pressure. The weight of the sediment layers above gradually squash the rock particles together more tightly. Cementation occurs when new minerals stick the rock particles together in much the same manner as cement binds sand grains in a bricklayer's mortar. Mineral crystals grow around the sediment grains and bond them together. Sedimentary rocks come in four categories. Conglomerate, sandstone, sandstone mudstone, and limestone and chalk. The Earth's crust is constantly, slowly moving. The huge forces that move continents stretch and squash parts of the Earth's crust, generating earthquakes and building mountains. They cause rocks near the surface to be fractured and faulted. At greater depth, the heat and pressure involved can cause folding and or metamorphism. The rocks are folded and metamorphosed at depth, whereas they may be faulted near the surface. Click the images to see how metamorphism differs from deformation. Metamorphic rocks were once igneous or sedimentary rocks but have been changed or metamorphosed as a result of intense heat or pressure within the Earth's crust. They are crystalline and often have foliated or banded texture. Different types of metamorphic rock include slate, schist, and marble. Melting. Melting occurs deep down beneath the Earth's surface. 
However, there isn't a layer of molten rock waiting to burst through the Earth's crust. The rock of the Earth's mantle only begins to melt in a few places, where it has been disturbed in some way, for example, where tectonic plates have shifted. Rocks are made up of different minerals, which have different melting points. When hot rock begins to melt, deep down beneath the surface, some of the minerals start to melt, but others stay solid. This is known as partial melting, and it is a process which forms the runny magma, which erupts from volcanoes. Crystallization of magma occurs when magma cools. As the magma cools, it begins to crystallize and form solid rock. Igneous rocks are formed from several different mineral crystals that grow within the melting magma as it cools. The rate at which magma cools controls the grain size of the igneous rock that is formed. More rapid cooling produces finer grained rocks. Igneous rocks form from the molten rock known as magma. These rocks are mostly crystalline and usually very hard to break. Examples include granite and basalt. Weathering is the breakdown of rocks on the Earth's surface by rainwater, extreme temperatures, and biological activity. There are three types of weathering, physical, biological, Why do petroleum geologists study versus geological elements? Select contract answer from the list below. To determine if the drilling rig can reach the drilling location, the size of the drill pipe required, water depth, likelihood of hydrocarbon being present in the commercial volume. Hi, highly job in pain. Correct. Then, what are the main layer that make up the planet Earth? Highlight for. يعني يقول لك شنو هي الطبقات مالت اللي هي التكتونيك بلاي بليت هاي لا الكريست كريست وعندك المنتل تجي وراها وتجي وراها الاوتر وتجي وراها الانر ونعطيها كوركت زين ذا كريست كريست اور سيرفيس از ميد اب اوف ريجيد بليت what are they called? Tectonic plates. Hmm. Rock plate. Hmm. Tectonic. The deepest well drill it into the earth have reached in excess of the hmm. The deepest well. Drill it. Correct. The deepest well currently drilled are in excess of 38,000 feet straight down toward the center of the earth. Then, exploratory drilling is very expensive. طبعا اكيد لانه الابار الاستكشافية تواجهك وهاي مشاكل انت ما عندك علم بيها. So geologists need to know that there is a good possibility of hydrocarbon being present before a test well is drilled. Naked. Finish exam. Chapter 3.